Hi, this is M. Prasadana today where we discuss about the mRNA processing and HNR, HNRAP and SNRAPs. So, mRNA processing and HNRAPs and uh, SNRAPs, SNRAPs. So, processing of mRNA, mRNA HNRAP, RNA, RNP and SN, SNRNP particles and 5 prime capping and uh, 3 prime cleavage and uh, polyadenylation, splicing and pre-mRNA methylations. So processing of mRNA prokaryotes, there is essential no processing of prokaryotics in mRNA. It is It can start to be translated before it has finished being transcribed. Prokaryotic mRNA is degraded rapidly from the pipeline end. So in eukaryotics, mRNA is synthesized by RNA polymerase 2 as long as precursors of pre-mRNA. Uh, pre the populations of different mRNAs different uh, different RNA polymerase 2 transcript uh, are called as heterogeneous nuclear RNA. So in eukaryotics, in eukaryotics, the mRNA synthesized by RNA polymerase is as longer precursors of pre-mRNA. The populations of different mRNA polymerase 2 transcript uh, are called heterogeneous nuclear RNA. Among the HNRNA, those proceed to give mature, mature mRNA are called as pre-mRNAs. So pre-mRNA molecules processed to mature mRNA five prime by five prime capping and three prime cleavage and polyadenylation splicing and methylations. So this is how the exons and introns the polyadenylation site here. So the terminational is the terminal part. So transcription here. So DNA to DNA is R <coughs> replication and DNA to RNA is transcription tra transcription. So then here we will talking about the uh, how MR, how po poly adenylate polymerase 8 plus ATP RNA splicing here. This is called pre mRNA processing. <coughs> HNRNA proteins. So HNRNA synthesized by RNA polymerase 2 is mainly pre mRNA is rapidly becomes uh, covered by um, to since uh, to form heterogeneous nuclear um, uh, ribonucleic proteins. So the he heterogeneous nuclear protein RNA nuclear protein, nuclear proteins uh, are through though to help the keep uh, HNRNA is in a single strand from and to assist in a various uh, RNA processing reactions. So SNRNP particles SNRNA plus combines with the proteins. The SNRNAs are rich in the base uracils which complex with the specific proteins to form SNRNPs. So the most abundant SNRNPs are involved with pre-mRNA splicing are U1, U2, U3, uracil, and U6. A large uh, of uh, large number of SNRNPs define methylation sites in pre-RNA. RNA. So the exported cytoplasm nucleus to RNA polymerase 2, 5' capping and exported to cytoplasm and also the groups of the 5' capping is in the nucleus. So, 5 prime capping in the very soon after RNA polymerase 2 starts with the making of a transcript of and before the RNA chain more than 20 to 30 nanonucleotides long, the 5 prime end is the chemically modified. 5 prime methylation methyl guanosine is covalently to the 5 prime end of pre mRNA linked with 5 prime to 5 prime. The curse of shortly after initiations. So, this is 5 prime methyl guanosine showing this, this structure will be 5 prime methyl guanosine. Uh, showing so the functions of a uh, uh, 5 prime cap so protection of from the degradations and increase the translation efficacy and transport the, to the cytoplasm and splicing the first exons so the three prime cleavage and uh, polyadenylation it is the most uh, mRNA uh, pre mRNAs the mature three prime end of the molecules is generated by the cleavage of followed by the addition of run or tail a residues which is called as poly A tail. RNA polymerase 2 does not usually terminate at distinct site. The pre mRNA is cleaved 20 uh, nucleotides downstream of polyanalysis signals. So 20 uh, to AMPs are then added to 3 prime end. Almost all the mRNAs have poly A tails. The functions of poly A tail increase the mRNA stability and increase the translation efficacy, splicing, and loss of the introns. How this is a, here? It is the initiation site. This it is the termination site. So this is a splicing, splicing the process of uh, uh, removing of uh, 
introns and uh, excision of uh, extrons. So this process cutting of a pre pre mRNA to remove the introns and uh, uh, and joining together axons and uh, this is called splicing. So this is the remove the introns and axons is together is joining. Is this this process is called splicing. It takes place in the nucleus before the mature mRNA can mature mRNA can be exported to the cytoplasm. Introns axons RNA splicing. Introns non coding sequence axons are coding sequence. RNA splicing remove the introns of joining. A splicing me mechanism must be precise, precise to maintain the open regarding open reading frame catalyzed by spliceosomes mRNA plus proteins. So this is structure how the showing of how introns and exons. So thank you. Biochemical steps of pre mRNA splicing. Step one is a cut of made of a fibrin splice site and separating the left exons and the right introns exons molecules. The right introns and exons molecules from the lattice which is it have five prime terminals and it, of the introns becomes linked by five prime and two prime bonds a base uh, within the introns the target because of an important like a a sequence called called as branch set step two cutting of five prime splicing site release and free introns and let it uh, from the um, right exons is like ligated splices and left exons this is the how lariate uh, and carry away so now uh, nuclear how introns and exons introns will be removed and exons will be joined nuclear splicing will occur the two tra true um, transistor re and reactions in which free of uh, oxygen end and hydroxyl end attacks the phosphodiester bonds so spliceosomes the catalyzes pre mrna splicing in nucleus and composed of five ssn rpcs so u1 u2 u3 u4 and u6 the other splicing factors are and other pre mrnas U1 is a uh, splicing we all know and U2 is a uh, bro uh, branch point and uh, uh, triation R plus uh, U4 and U5 U6 as a result of introns looped out of uh, 5 prime and 3 prime exons brought closely approximately this is how the diagram shows the introns and exons splice of the cycle that this is showing so pre mRNA methylation the final modifications are processing event that many pre mRNA undergoes is specific methylations of certain bases the methylation seems to be largely conserved in the mature mRNA. This is a diagram shows how introns are joining and exons are removed. So introns are uh, removing and exons are joining. This is called alternative mRNA processing, alternative pro alternative processing and alternative polyase. It's alternative splicing, alternative editing. So alternative mRNA processing, the conversions of pre mRNA splice and into the more than the one type of mature mRNA. The typical of alternative RNA processing, including the Alternative differentially and splicing and alternative differential poly A, A, poly A processing. So alternative poly A sites some free mRNAs more than one polypeptide that is the uh, maybe understand different uh, circumlets generate the different mRNAs. In one cell to be stronger po poly A site is used dif by difficulty but in the cells are factors may be prevent stronger site from the being used. So alternative splicing also generated by the using of different promoters and also by using the different polyacids and by use, by retaining um, retaining certain introns and by retaining removing. So these are things. Alternative splicing. This is the alternate cascade either including the mRNA excluders. So mutually excluders occur the when two or more ad ad cascade exons are spliced such that only one exon in the group of including at a time. So alternative five prime. Five prime slow sizes the allow the allow the length, uh, lengthening of shortening of a particular exons. So alternative promoters uh, and alternative poly A sites which switch the 59 or 39 or most of the exons of transcript. The alder retaining the introns ex excited the pre pre retaining the translated of mRNA. So here the single mRNA can be exhibited in multiple sites of alternative splicing. Uh, different patterns of inclusions. So that's it. Thank you.